people are not reading more, writing better. People are not, we're not better at math than we were when it's been established. How can you have anything that takes that much money from the American taxpayer that hasn't given you a single marker for how it's become successful and it still is allowed to exist? It doesn't make any sense. Right. Uh, What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Candice Owens rips up past race beating students. Okay, this is going to be amazing. Let's go right into it. Um, one thing I'd like to ask you about is, you know, throughout this entire seminar, he, you know, talking, attacking a lot of left wing, uh, well, I would say, like, you know, extreme talking points. Um, one thing I would like to have a question about is, when it comes to public education, you said that you wanted the, the department to be abolished, you know, mm -hmm. burned down to the ground. Yeah. Could you elaborate more as to like why you think mm -hmm. public education is a problem? Absolutely. So when things started going downhill in terms of the public education system is when they federalized it. Nothing good happens in the federal government. Nothing good. There's not, there isn't a single federal department that you can point to and say, hey, that runs expertly. I mean, DMV, talk about anything. Oh, that runs really well. We should really do more of that. The job of the government is to make sure that it has more employees, right? To make sure that governments can grow. And their best way to do that is by creating a system of dependency. So mm. it's, it's counterintuitive. I'm a supporter of school choice. People should not be deemed to go somewhere that they're districted simply because of where they live. This is exactly what leads to kids going to bad inner city communities. Um, and it's a huge reason why I am a conservative is because conservatives believe in school choice and they tell you that it's racist and it's wrong and there's no reason why a child should have to go to school based on where they live and not based on where their mother wants them to go to school with their tax dollars that they're paying mm. into. Um, so the Department of Education has been a remarkable failure. There's not a single piece of proof that shows you that it's, people are not reading more, writing better, people are not, we're not better at math than we were when it's been established. How can you have anything that takes that much money from the American taxpayer that hasn't given you a single marker for how it's become successful and it still is allowed to exist. It doesn't make any sense. Mm. Right? I, oh, I like it. So, of course, I agree with you there. I feel like, you know, the federal government is spending a lot of people's money on things that doesn't matter. Um, another point that you made throughout your event is um, that you feel like the cause for the deterioration of black America was the absence of family. Mm -hmm. Do you not feel, and you specifically cited the Jim Crow era, do you not feel that the times you know, during that era had any effect on that, or do you feel like those Well, it's an interesting study. So to be clear, I'm not argu arguing, because this is how a reporter will take me out of context, but Candace demands Jim Crow comes back. <laughs> yeah. um, absolutely not. What I'm saying is that that is so telling that during Jim Crow times, the black American family was doing better. Why is that? Because we had to rely upon ourselves, A. Our families were together, and faith was at the center of not just the black life, but the American life. Um, and what happened, which black people were given an opportunity to uh, after slavery, was that families were able to come together. They understood the importance of family being together and better values being asserted. Um, and so I'm not at all making an argument that somehow society would be better, but we should really try to learn the lessons of why it is that black Americans have won in terms of segregation ending, in terms of you know race-based policies and initiatives being gone, and in terms of, the, which is actually a big loss, the welfare policies. But everything that is shown is that we've gone backwards. Mm. We actually are doing worse than we were True. when we won all of these things. It's worth us having a discussion about it and realizing what happened. Right. Thank you um, so, I'm just, I just wanna yeah, give it to more people because I feel so bad. Yeah, so this is just like a little quick question like just for myself. Mm -hmm. um, would you like just be able to like more elaborate, like you know, cite like what areas black Americans were you know, thriving in during that time? Just so I can- like, I'm sorry, what was my, that? Like could you say elaborate on what, because you said that black Americans you know, economically, were ec economically, economically were per a household, yeah, per a household, how much money people had at that time. Um, black Americans have gotten poorer, poorer. There has been trillions of dollars given to the welfare system and black American families are poorer today than when, we, than when they were, that makes entirely no All sense. Right. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> it's funny thing about black families, like, stats don't lie. It's, it's the funny thing, stats don't lie. No matter how we try to, change the entire thing, stats don't lie, stats keep on being the same. Because the, the stats shows that black families is getting more power ever since. They have stopped prioritizing fathers in the home. Um, fathers are going to jail, mothers are single parenting, mothers are not the ones to kick out their kids. The, the black families have, have never been the same again. You understand? So the entire conversation right here is Beautiful. I love how um, Candace Owens handled it. Her, she she brought a start. 
do it was not proving out. Well, she she knows the stats in her head, and, and I have to go and research it on my, by my own self and get to get a clear picture. But I love the I love the black um guy right there. I think it was like his shirt was black foot matters or something like that. He was respectful. I, I love people who who debate, who have conversation, meaningful dialogue, not not throwing abusive words at each other. No. He was very, very respectful and he just wants to get clarity. I love that. You are not certain, you need clarity. And they give you clarity. If you do not believe the, the, the stats that she called or she showed towards you, you go make your own findings and your research. Then come back to her. It's as simple as that. You understand? So I love how um, the the black guy handled it. I love how he was very, very respectful. That's itself. I, 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 that, I respect him for that. Um, the entire conversation was good. Um, talking about the federal government, the federal government itself, I know they are using a lot of our tax pay, tax money to do some some things that we do not support. And if it was to pay our own power, we would not want them to use our tax pay money to do such a thing. Do you understand? So um, it's beyond our own control. And Candace was like, "This is this is this is serious. There's nothing good that federal, the federal government have ever done that will be proud of them." So it's it's something we should keep on talking about and put into consideration because it's 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 bad that you are you're working very very hard uh they cut some parts of your money as tax and the the, the place that they are locating the tax to are uh, places you 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 will not want your money you have worked or your tax you have worked for the government to go into those places so it, it, it's it's really really terrible so i love how Candace always handles this conversation i love how this um the guy right there was very respectful. I love how the entire conversation went about. Uh, it was very respectful and it was beautiful. It also enlightened me more. There are some words um, Candice Owens spoke out right here that I never knew before, but right now I'm more enlightened than I know about it. This was beautiful to watch. I love the entire video. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to us. Me as you can. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all